Kid Mila Falter of Park Nivier Lotum, who clearly can't see her on Fee Fee as a he and Nidia Gotos a shacht, either Cody Huya Olo Dunang all a gimmerch, and Nahani Huya Olo Agus Cody no moon, Kiri a gimmerch, and Nahani Huya moon. Welcome to St. Charlotte's Park, Chum for the All Ireland under 21 final 1987 between the Ulster champions Donegal playing in the Ulster colours and the Munster champions Kerry playing in the Munster colours. And the two teams for the final, the Donegal team in goal, Danny Gallagher from Dunlow. The full back line on the right, John Joe Doherty from Maeve Columba. Full back, John Connors from Dunlow. Left back, Thomas Maguire from Ardera. The half back line on the right, Paul Carr from Maeve Columba. In the centre, team captain John Cunningham from Maeve Columba, from Killy Beggs. And left half back, Jermud Keown from Irua Bally Shannon. Midfield, two Killy Beggs men, Barry Cunningham and John Gallagher. The half forward line on the right, Paddy Hegarty from Maeve Columba. In the centre, Tommy Ryan from Terman, and on the left, Barry McGone from Killy Beggs. And the full forward line, Dermot, Dermot Ward from Glenfin on the right, Manus Boyle from Killy Beggs, one of the five Killy Beggs men at full forward, and top of the left, Luke Gavigan from Ardera. The Kerry team, in goal, Kieran Morn from Derry Nain. The full back line, Ken Savage, Kieran O'Rahalys, Michael Brosnan, Nock Nagoshal, and Morgan Nix of Kieran O'Rahalys. The half back line, Stephen Stack of Emmets, Noel O'Leary, the captain from Crokes, and Pat Coughlin from Rothmore. Midfield, Michael Galway from Corro, and James Brosnan from Grieve Gullia. The half forward line, PJ Gare from Dua, Ger Looney from Grieve Gullia, and Donald McAvoy from John Mitchells. The full forward line, Martin Downey from Desmond's, Pierce Hoare from Kieran O'Rahalys, and Martin Dennehy from John Mitchells. The referee is Mickey Kearns from Sligo. Board, Don Lohman, proud day for Sean today with two of his men playing. Donny Gall are going to be playing against the wind in the first half playing into the town goal here in St. Jarlis Park in beautiful condition here. There's a strongish wind as you can see from the flags, from the national flag on the far side of the field and from the other flags around. The Kerry team huddled together now in rugby fashion on their side, Donegal still kicking in and out. A large Donegal support here today, totally outnumbering the Kerry support. Donegal on their way to the final have beaten Fermanagh in the first round in a disappointing performance in Ballyshannon. They went on afterwards then to beat Derry in the second round away, beat Armagh in the third round away, went on to the Ulster final where they drew with Monaghan and then beat them. Coran Navian. Donegal are fielding, as we said in the Ulster final, Donegal drew with Monaghan and beat Monaghan in the replay and then they went on to beat Leash in their best performance so far in the All-Ireland semi-final. Forced to play today without Seamus Ward, the regular full-back, John Connors moving into full-back and Thomas Maguire coming on as a late substitute to fill the left corner-back position. Kerry haven't won this title five times before, Donegal once in 1982 and Carrick on Shannon. Very, very strong and going down the field 
So in the first half, Kerry will have the advantage of a strong one. Mickey Kearns, it's still not half past three, and he's holding on for another 30 seconds or so before starting the game. Mickey, of course, a very famous footballer himself with Sligo and Connacht. Midfield then there, number eight for Kerry, Michael Galway, one of the members of the Kerry side that toured America recently, and number nine, James Brosnahan. Against them, Barry Cunningham, eight, and John Gallagher, nine, the two men from Killybegs. Atmosphere, Anna Weiherfad and Shaw, Kujwar Kunalach and Shaw, Neil Moranis Kerry and Shaw, Stahina Willen, Okad Kotawakta, Agusabin Okadi Kerry. Mick Kearns throws it in, the game is on, and John Gallagher breaks the ball down. Brosnan getting it forward. Donald McAvoy, the Kerry left half forward, gets the ball in, and it's gone straight over the bar. A point by Donald McAvoy. A finely taken point there by Donald Man McAvoy who just drew on the ball that was broken through from midfield by Brosnan. And so not the dirty goal. Dream start, a good start for Kerry. Danny Gallagher from Dunlow taking the kick out. This is a good one against the wind. Barry Cunningham going up there with Brosnan. Barry breaks it down to John. John over the side to Barry Magone. Barry finding it difficult, gets it lifted then. And so Barry Magone carrying the ball. He's been followed there by the Kerry right halfback Stephen Stack. Gets a lovely ball into Barry Cunningham. Barry Cunningham back to Barry Magone. Doesn't make Barry Magone. Barry Cunningham fighting again for it. And it's cleared out to John Gallagher. John Gallagher calling for it as man as Boyle. Gallagher hits it in. And the Kerry defence coming out with it there. And it's cleared weakly but eventually coming to the midfielder. And a long ball again using the long ball. Well taken there by Donny Golds. Right corner back John Joe Doherty to John Gallagher. Takes the shoulder. Gives the ball to Barry Cunningham. Barry Cunningham to Dermot Cone. Dermot Cone inside to Tommy Ryan Tommy Ryan of Terman lovely ball up to the corner to Manus Boyle Manus Boyle one of the senior men on the Donegal team still has the ball being very well marked there by the full back by Michael Brosnan he over carries it's a free out for Kerry electrifying atmosphere in the first minutes of the game here in Jarlitz Park Chum as Manus Boyle there found the marking of Michael Brosnan of the Knocknagashul fullback just a bit too much taking it is Stephen Stack one of the other members of the senior panel and one of the better known of these Kerry players into the middle of the field again it goes John Cunningham leaving it to Barry it breaks down and it comes to John Gallagher John Gallagher taking a late shoulder to Barry Magone Barry Magone tackled by two men fouled free for Donegal who have started well despite being the point down tackled there by Stephen Stack and another Kerry man John Cunningham will take this the captain of the team Killy Beggs man and John's kick going again towards left here is there a push there there is a push on Luke Gavigan and Luke himself will probably take the free Ken Savage there pushing Luke Gavigan in the back and so Manus Boyle is coming across taken quickly there by Luke Gavigan to Dermot Ward Dermot Ward gets past next Dermot Ward still cutting in Dermot still has it he takes a shot it looks good it is good <laughs> tremendous point there well thought very good thinking by Luke Gavigan who took who took the free very quickly as Manus Boyle appeared to be taking it Dermot Ward cutting in and taking the point Kieran Moran will take the kick out Kieran's coming towards Barry McGowan and Stephen Stack Barry impressing very well early on taken by centre half back and captain O'Leary O'Leary the long ball again going up and it's Paul Carr breaking it down there to John Joe Doherty great start by John Joe doesn't go that well for him this time number 13 for Kerry the right half forward the shot and this time it's gone wide Martin Downey's kick there another good chance for Kerry but it's gone wide actually it isn't gone wide it is a free out for Donegal the referee's whistle impossible to hear in this position here with the Donegal support all around and some tremendous Donegal support the stand behind us full of Donegal people they seem to have come down and 
droves, a lot of the Donegal team from the South West Division, 12 members of the team from the One Division, five Killybegs men, three Glen men, two Ardoran men, and uh, one Ardoran men, and two Ardoran men now with Thomas Maguire in, and the Dunlow men. Up they go there, a great kick that time, and it breaks loose, and another lovely ball in by Paddy Haggerty, Dermot Ward going there, but it's taken this time by right back Savage, coming out, a chance for Manus, a point for Manus! Superb start by Donegal. Great taken point there by Manus Boyle. Once again, Dermot War doing a lot of the work. Tremendous start by Donegal. Kieran Moran to take the kick out for Kerry. And certainly the start augurs well for Donegal. Moran's kick. Coming in here between Barry Cunningham and broken down to the Kerry left half back and he takes it there, Pat Coughlin he carries the ball too far, a free for Donegal it was actual fact Donald McAvoy there Dermot Kill now leaving the ball to John Cunningham John Gallagher standing there as well John Cunningham, London born having spent the first 10 or 11 years of his life in London cousin of Barry's at midfield but now very much one of the main young players in the county. John's kick. And again towards Manus Boyle. Manus going up there. Blo 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 blocking down to Paddy Hegarty. Paddy Hegarty getting it back really nicely to Tommy Ryan. Tommy Ryan taking the kick. It's not going to curl enough. And another Donegal attack. But this time going wide. Probably their first wide. Donegal certainly looking very sharp early on. And seeming to have the upper hand getting a fair bit of the broken ball at midfield despite the fact that the Kerry men are very big men particularly the number nine James Brosnan the Grieve Gullia man Kieran Moran's kick out up goes Tommy Ryan and Tommy breaks it down but it's coming on the loose and Tommy again going in very determinedly there Stephen Stack Stephen Stack is blocked down there very well by Manus Boyle Stack charges there but coming out and sends a long ball down to the corner John Joe Doherty going there with Martin Dennehy, the ball has gone out, line ball for Donegal. So a great first five or six minutes for Donegal. Paul Carr over there, one of the two Glen men in defence. Paul's kick going in towards John Gallagher, Michael Galway. Galway takes this one well. Sending the ball down towards Paul Carr. Paul Carr and Donald McAvoy goes into the carry forwards again number 10 PJ Gare PJ Gare being tackled now by uh, Cone gets the kick it seems to be accurate it is accurate a point for PJ Gare another well taken point for Kerry there by the right half forward PJ Gare the kick out to be taken by Danny Gallagher seven minutes of the game gone two points for Kerry two points for Donegal a very good game so far exciting end to end stuff Danny's kick not so good this time and forces Paul Carr to work very very hard as he does getting it across to his club mate Paddy Hegarty Paddy still has the ball gets it inside to Barry Cunningham Barry Cunningham the long ball for Manus Boyle Manus getting it uh, changes his mind Look, Gavigan Manus still going good play being followed now by the full back Manus still going along the ground Manus still going Oh, hard luck, man, as hits the post. Coming out, Barry McGowan won't make it, I'm afraid. He doesn't make it. A great run by Manus Boyle there, showing great class as he took them on the ground. Room made by Luke Gavigan, and Manus is certainly giving Michael Brosnan enough. Great support from the Donegal people for great effort. Kerry certainly uncomfortable so far. Morgan Nix, Morgan Nix to take the kick. The Donegal forward line in good form. Nix's kick into the middle coming to big Michael Galway. Michael Galway, the long ball. Kerry using it to a good effect so far. Broken down by Thomas Maguire. But he fouls Martin Downey. It'll be a free in for Kerry just inside, uh, outside the 50. Here's Hoare to take the kick. One of the main scorers on the Kerry campaign so far the Kieran O'Rahalys player one of a number of Kieran O'Rahalys player on the Kerry team Pierce Orr to take the kick
Hoare's kick seems to be good it's long and just gone wide and so Donegal maintain their lead their, their ascendancy so far two points each Danny Gallagher to take the kick and there's a wee boy risking everything there as he goes into the 14 yard line taken away there by fullback John Connors Danny Gallagher who came on in the All-Ireland minor final two years ago in the last minute and has established himself well this year after David Meehan's injury in they come to the middle of the field Galway going up breaks it down going to McAvoy the danger Kerry man getting this ball to the centre half forward Joe Looney Looney's long kick this time goes wide McCary a good kick in the yo Fadamah agus Kadisha Berchaku fights <laughs> Berchnach will fight Refunche agadai hi agus ni lawris <laughs> be na go will sky to us janta ag kuj fargun ng alar akhli hi sho don lo galahar is khlahan lia lishan hi ke maghanish to come a rig will she a titum rud beginish maghle hi gudin thi hold and Barry Cunningham Barry Cunningham going with Michael Brosnan shoulder to shoulder it should be a Donny goal no it's a Kerry ball Michael Brosnan going to leave it to Donald McAvoy who now may leave it to Pat Coughlin no but Donald McAvoy is going to take it and so the Mitchells man and she goes oh well taken there by Razda John Cunningham John Cunningham out to Paul Carr Paul Carr long ball up for Dermot Ward the Glenfin man coming out the Glenfin man foul and again good play by Donegal Dermot leaving it there it's outside the 45 about 10 metres outside the 45 leaving it to Barry Cunningham great feeling there by John Cunningham Barry to take this one Barry Cunningham, a student at University College Galway on the UCG Sigerson panel. The wind taking this ball out, but up goes Barry McGone. Barry fighting for it. A lovely ball inside there to right half forward Paddy Hegarty. Paddy Hegarty back to McGone. Lovely stuff. McGone trying to take them on again there. The toe to hand. The toe to hand again. And too much, says the referee. Seemed a little bit harsh there on Barry McGone, who would hardly have held the ball for more than four steps full back Michael Brosnan to take the kick out so 11 minutes of the game gone Michael's Brosnan kick Donegal people quite happy so far Paul Carr going up and breaking it down and in there for his going Tommy Ryan doesn't make that one and it comes through to O'Leary O'Leary trying to get the kick in tackled by Tommy going back now to Brosnan good hassling by Tommy Ryan Tommy still on him and again good hassling by Tommy and very good by the Donegal Brosnan gets it out towards the side of the field to PJ Gare Dermot Cow does well but the referee says he fouls free kick for Kerry Dermot Cohn from Eroa Club Valley Shannon penalised there the free is going to be taken by right half back Stephen Stack Stephen another of the Kerry men just back from the States or came back in time for the Munster final replay against Tipperary and of course was there for their semi-final win against Galway two narrow wins by Kerry the Tipperary one an extra time Stack's kick is long and going in there with three men going up for the full forward goes up here's Hoare doesn't touch it nobody touches it and it's a free kick out for Donegal 12 minutes of the game gone two points each Danny's kick and it goes Barry Cunningham going up and Barry taking it and John comes then but it's taken away by Brosnan Brosnan to McAvoy McAvoy getting the ball inside but well read there by John Joe Doherty John Joe Doherty to Paddy Hegarty Paddy Hegarty Paddy carrying it there does he carry it too far he does though he seems to have been taken around the neck for a wee while there but it is a free kick there great work there by John Joe Doherty Paddy Hegarty over carrying a bit which is understandable enough with the conditions of Donegal trying to carry it up rather than sending the long ball. Anyway, it's a free for Kerry just inside the halfway. Going to bro block down there. John Cunningham goes up and breaks it down. The Kerry man coming in, McAvoy. McAvoy is the danger man in this forward line to Galway. Galway taking the kick, it seems to be wide. And so it stays at two points each after 13 or 14 minutes of the first half. And certainly the Donegal people here the happier people at the moment and of course there are so so many more of them than there are of Kerry men Danny Gallagher again to take the kick out Dunloman and goals another Dunloman at full back Danny's not a good kick this time Paul Carr doing well there and breaking it down to John Cunningham John Cunningham long relieving clearance Manus is a bit behind this time and it's the left back Morgan Nix Nix coming away with the ball still on the ball 
being ta- followed by Tommy Ryan getting it to McAvoy McAvoy rounds Paul Carr McAvoy takes a shot well blocked down there by John Doherty Paul Carr takes it now Paul is coming out and does well long ball up Galway going for it there breaks down to Manus Boyle Manus Boyle lovely ball to John Gallagher John Gallagher will he get the lo- to Tommy Ryan Tommy Ryan his kick is blocked down there coming to Luke Gavigan to Tommy Ryan Tommy Ryan, he's got a man inside, he's got Manus inside, he's got still Tommy going, he takes the kick, it's going to curl, oh look, look good, oh just bad bounce there, but we still have it, coming out now to Dermot Ward from Barry McGowan, Dermot's kick is not good and it's gone wide, and Manus Boyle not happy there that his ball is not given to him quicker, and certainly it would be very good play by Donegal to feed Manus because he really does seem to be a little bit of a class apart, probably the only man that will be playing in the senior championship next Sunday. The kick out coming from Kieran Moran to Barry Magone. Barry with the man inside him. Barry should round stack. Barry's taking oh slip there by Luke Gavigan and out comes Ken Savage. Savage the long ball to John Cunningham and John breaks it down, but it only breaking down this time. And it comes back to John Cunningham. Jerry Looney robbed there by John and out comes Barry Cunningham. Barry Cunningham the long ball in towards Dermot Ward. Dermot trying to break it down, taken well by, more, by the carry right back, Ken Savage. Savage out to the far side of the field to Brosnan. Brosnan finding his centre half forward, Looney in a lot of space. John Cunningham goes to him now. Looney gets the ball inside. Good ball too, comes to Pierce Hoare. Kerry man inside, Gare's inside. Too many steps, is it? No. Ball comes through to Gare now. Gare on the ball. He tries to round your man. He takes a point. No, he doesn't. It's a 15. Dunning Allman got a touch and diverted the ball out for a 50. A dangerous carry attack there, starting off with the slip in the Donegal forward line. But Donegal will be quite content, unless they play themselves out, to stay within a point or two of Kerry in this first and take them then with a the wind in their backs. The 50 is going to be taken by Martin Downey of the Desmonds Club. Of course, one of Kerry's famous clubs, an elegant club. And here comes Martin Downey. Fairly central. Barry Cunningham in front of him there. And it's over the bar, a point for Kerry. So 16, 16 and a half minutes gone. Point for Kerry from a 50 by Martin Downey. Danny Gallagher to take it, three to two for Kerry. Danny's kick coming out to John Cunningham. John doing very well in this first half. And again, the long ball up towards Manus Boyle. Manus coming. Oh, lovely ball to Dermot Ward if he has the speed. And very well done there by Morgan Nix as well to send it out for the 50. 45 metre kick now for Donegal. And once again, Donegal seeming to be that little bit sharper so far. Great work there by John Cunningham and Manus Boyle. And then Dermot Ward just beaten by the outstretched leg of Morgan Nix Barry Cunningham will take the kick no chance of pointing this one one with the kind of win that's here today so it'll be a ball in for Manus Boyle or one of the other forwards to latch on to coming short for this Tommy Ryan the ball goes into the far corner Dermot Ward will hardly make it no it isn't a disappointing effort there for Donegal from the 50 3-2 to two, about 17 and a half 18 minutes gone the kick out to be taken by Kieran Morn, the Kerry goalie both goalkeepers taking the kick out. Lovely sporting game so far, full of flowing football, particularly from Donegal against the wind. The kick coming out on this side of the field and Donald McAvoy now roaming away up and sending the long ball, trying to hit Hoare, but it's not going to make Hoare. Thomas Maguire comes to the right corner, Martin Downey. Downey followed by John Cunningham. Downey getting the kick and blocked down by Raz. And out comes John Joe Doherty. And John Joe Doherty, one of the great defenders in the game in the county at the moment, getting the ball up towards three of them coming for it and it eventually comes to Paddy Haggerty who stayed and waited and gives the ball now to Tommy Ryan and Tommy hitting the ball inside locked down can we get it it comes to Paddy Haggerty again Paddy Haggerty has Manus Boyle inside him gives it now to Manus can Manus take the shot he does and a point they're tearing them apart in there if they can keep it up great interplay again by the Donegal forward line and Manus Boyle the 
Kelly Beggs full forward in full flow and leading the attack there with great leadership talking to all his forwards playing like a true county senior the ball coming out to the middle of the field Barry Cunningham lets it go to John Gallagher John Gallagher feeding to him at Ward grasps it out of the sky Ward coming through inside to look look coming round him can he get inside can't turn he's still going toe to hand he's making the angle the shot and the point This is inspirational stuff. Tremendous point by Luke Gavigan from Ardera after great work by Dermot Ward from Glenfin. And this is tremendous stuff by Donegal so far. Have really torn into this game like lions and are tearing Kerry apart so far. Kieran Morn. Out comes the side of the field and it's going to be well taken there by centre half back and captain Noel O'Leary. Noel O'Leary Hassel getting it back to Michael Galway. Galway into the far corner of the field. Piers Hoare and John Connors. Connors should let it go, does. And the scoreboard over there showing four to three. Not a reflection of the contentment of Donegal people so far who feel they're far more in command than the four to three would suggest. Danny Gallagher to take the kick out, but it's a long hour and it's Kerry and Many's a team have found against the wind an easier thing to do, but it's a strongish wind and it breaks loose this time too. Paddy Hegarty, Paddy gains the sideline ball for Donegal and Paul Carr, his club mate, to take it. Paul, lovely thinking again to John Cunningham. John Cunningham, his kick is blocked down there, but it will come to Paddy Hegarty and Paddy lets it go out, the ball was blocked down there and Donegal so keen and so enthusiastic, it's been a tremendous game so far Paul Olira, Chasen Manas Row, Neil should have torch fire been on the Kiriki, Tigalero Chahanish, quite PJ O'Gara, O'Gara, Ishtahalar Boy, Tashanish, quite O'Brosnahan, O'Brosnahan, inside now to number 10, Gare coming again. The Kerry half forwards, the two wing forwards dangerous. The low ball going in. Jo Paul Carr gets his hand to it there. Comes out again out to Gare. He has the angle, he takes the shot, but it isn't strong enough. But it finds uh, number 11, he takes the shot. Danny Gallagher goes down. Oh! He drops it. But it out comes and a fright for Donegal. Who is it? The midfielder, John Gallagher. John Gallagher to Barry McGowan. Barry in a bit of difficulty. John Connors. John Connors gets the kick out. And there are four Kerry men there. And one of them will be Brosnan, but the one Donegal man. Paddy Hegarty gets it and is fouled. Great stuff. Four Kerry men standing there. And Paddy Hegarty went and fought for it. And once again, we're thinking, John Cunningham. John, the long ball up towards Manus and Dermot. Manus will knock it on to Dermot. And it's taken there by Morgan Nix. Morgan Nix getting it out to the fullback. A Donegal injury there. And the fullback coming out with the ball now. That's Michael Brosnan. Brosnan, the long ball down to John Joe Doherty. And John Joe grasping it out of the sky, finding Barry Cunningham. Barry Cunningham, the long ball up to Manus, who's OK again. Man is taking on the fullback at his ease. It's no problem to him. Making the angle, taking the shot. And this time it's not so accurate and it's still four to three. And who would think that this is the team that struggled to beat Fermanagh by one point in Bally Shannon in early March? A game Donegal were a little bit lucky to win, but certainly this half first half performance must be one of the finest performances by a County Donegal team for a long time. Out it comes towards the far side. Barry Cunningham breaking it down to Paddy Hegarty and Pat Coughlin. The carry man for once wants it. It's not Coughlin, it's the other Stephen Stack who moves, who has moved across to that side of the field with Paddy, Her Paddy Hegarty causing a lot of problems. Yes, there's been a definite switch there by the carry man whether Hard to know, Barry McGowan causing problems on this side. The kick anyway going in again, and up goes John Gallagher breaking it down, coming to a Kerry man. It's taken by number 11 centre half forward, and the kick is blocked down. Looney's kick blocked down. Connor's getting it out towards the side of the field. Coming now to Michael Galway. Galway sells a dummy, moving inside. Barry paying him attention now. Gets it in, it could be cut off. It goes to McAvoy, danger man. Paul Carr covering him this time. Coming back out again. Donny Gall hounding in packs and forcing the error, and it's gone wide. Connor, 
Kerry are making subs. There's a sub on the Kerry team already. Gerald Murphy has gone on to the Kerry team. This seems to be a 50. It didn't appear to be a 50, but it is. And so Kerry making subs already, which is a fair indication of the tremendous superiority of the Donegal team. And so, a uh, tough thing on a young player to be brought out in an All-Ireland final this early on. But that's the way. And it's the corner forward. There are discussions in here in the full forward line. I'm not sure what exactly is going on. The referee calling the attention of the... being called to attention by the umpire and it seemed to be involved the one of the carry forwards. Anyway, it's another of the carry forwards, Martin Downey, to try to point his second 50. And he seems to have done so. Danny Gallagher takes it on the line and comes out and clears it low and accurate. And anyway, it's a square ball. It's a free out for Donegal anyway. No, it's a 50. It's a 50. Danny must have overstepped. So Martin Downey, this time leaving it to Piers Hoare. Piers Hoare trying to even up matters for Kerry. Piers, one of the main men on the campaign so far. 25 gone and everything going grand. Piers Hoare from Kern O'Reilly's club to take this 50 for Kerry, 45. Dashi Arda Gastashi, Kring and Thamshaw Gastashi, their whole score. Four points for Donegal, four points for Kerry. The big difference is that Kerry are playing with a win that at times is very strong. Two of their points from 50s. Danny Gallagher to take the kick. Danny who held that ball well, but in his run out, overstepped for the 50. Coming towards Paddy Hegarty over there at that far side. Did he push? He's got away with it anyway. And he's down there and it's the Kerry man coming away with the ball and a free for Kerry. A new man, Murph. No, it's, it's not. Stephen Sack will take this line ball for Kerry as we enter the last four minutes or so of the first half what has been a glorious first half for Donegal and up goes John Cunningham but leaves the ball to John Gallagher John doing well at midfield today certainly Donegal not losing the midfield battle today and it's cleared by John Joe Doherty John Joe Doherty sends it not good this time over the line for a line ball for Kerry which will again be taken by Stephen Stack who has gone to mark Paddy Hegarty leaving Barry McGowan on this side to Pat Coughlin Stephen Stack and certainly if Donegal can prevent a goal from going in these last few minutes they will turn round very happy the ball is going in and up they go John Gallagher breaks it down breaks loose cleared out the side of the field two Kerry men going for it Tommy Ryan going for it too McAvoy the danger man trying to sell Ryan he takes a kick in it looks good from here but it isn't Donald McAvoy coming over to this side of the field, making the angle it seemed to be to going for a point, but eventually it swerved too much, and so Donegal and Kerry remain four points each, coming into the last three minutes or so of the first half. Donald O'Gallagher reached. A Mahalarna Park Arish. And up they go, and it breaks down again to Paddy Hegarty, but this time the ball is taken away by Michael Galway. Michael Galway to Ger Looney. Ger Looney getting a little bit of room there, and this is an important catch for Thomas Maguire, and Thomas does well, and sends the ball down, but there's nobody there. But now there is Dermot Ward. Dermot Ward losing the ball to Pat Coughlin. Pat Coughlin, good ball across to Looney. Looney getting a little bit of room at the moment, and the long ball going in between Hoare and Connors. It'll go too far, and it's another kick out, which is what Donegal want to the moment four points each Danny Gallagher again to take the kick out Danny's kicking going well today two minutes left in this first half four points Kerry, four points Donegal at time the wind 
falls a bit, but it's certainly a significant factor. Oh, John Gallagher trying now, but well taken there this time by Stephen Stack. Stephen Stack getting it across to PJ Gear. Kerry settling a bit down a bit better now. Donegal, of course, the first half taking a lot out of them so far they, because they played very hard. Poor going for the ball. Coming down to John Gallagher. John Gallagher getting out far side Gare again. Followed this time by John Joe Doherty. John Joe Doherty coming inside to Looney. Looney making the angle, taking the shot. Is it good? It is good. And Kerry playing well that time to take a good point for Ger Looney. Playing with a bit more confidence in the last couple of minutes, the Kerry team, and knitting it together a bit much. Strange to relate, of course, the Donegal team probably far more experienced on the big occasion with a lot of the team having played in the minor semi-final two years ago. Some of them vocational schools experience and colleges experience. Kerry coming again. Noel O'Leary, the team captain, trying to urge them on late. Connors breaking the ball down to Doherty, and Doherty again, defending so well, trying to get Hegarty. This time Hegarty, Stephen Stack is doing well on Hegarty. Stephen coming up now. Hegarty round him, Stack still, Stack still. He still coming there, and again Hegarty going in, and he gets the boot in, and the referee says he didn't do it fairly, so a chance for Kerry to make it 6-4. to four. It seemed that it was a loose ball that was legitimately played. Mickey Kearns is having a good game and gives this one to Pierce or to Kerry, who could make it 6-4. to four. Coming up very near the half-time at this stage, Donegal have faded away a bit in the last five minutes, but this was understandable after the tremendous efforts early on in this half. Pierce Hoare. It's over the bar. Pierce Hoare's second point carries six, six to four now, which is hardly a fair reflection of the merit of the two teams in the first half, but that's the way it is. Six to four. Gary Sheikh Ulin Dunning Al Kahar. Danny Gallagher to take the kick out. This time it's short, it's half time. He knew it was before he kicked it. And an entertaining first half. Kerry six, Donegal four. Barry Cunningham, Barry Cunningham, the long ball in. And this should be the pattern in the second half. Welch breaking down there. Look at the chance. His kick is blocked down by right back. And he's fouled then. But he gets past the foul. Does a carry right back? Ken Savage. Savage out just straight out of Paddy Hegarty. Paddy Hegarty. And oh, broken down there. Is it a free in? Or is it a penalty? Is it a penalty? It is a penalty! Dermot Ward from Glenfin. It is a penalty. Dermot Ward from Glenfin taken around the neck. And now John Cunningham's history of penalties is going to see another chapter. The most one so far was not a good one. It was against Cork in the semi-final two years ago. We all pray that this time it will be better. John Cunningham, team captain. Goal! 
goal! Arazan! It's a goal! One, four to six! It's the start we needed! Donald McAvoy, Paul Carr, Donald getting the ball away for Kerry, but the ring gets to win, the Raz breaks it down, Pierce Hoare, Hoare has come out for Kerry, inside now has gone the man on the ball, number 13 on the Kerry, he's being hung on about there, Martin Downey, Downey takes a kick and it's good, it's good. What a start to the second half. It's 1-4 for Donegal, seven points for Kerry. The penalty goal by John Cunningham, the point by Martin Downey. And now it's Danny Gallagher facing whatever sun there is here in St. Jarlitz Park, Joom with the cap. The Dunlow man to take the kick out. Their level, Donegal starting very well again. Out it comes towards the middle of the field. John Connors is out there, but it's taken by Donald McAvoy. Donald McAvoy still on the solo, still going, still going. Connors still chasing, takes the shot, and it's gone wide. Good running there by John Cunningham to make it a wee bit difficult for him. And so what a start to the second half. No changes apparent at the beginning of the second half. Danny Gallagher to take the kick out. There is an injury at the moment to one of the Donegal players that appears to be Paul Carr. Danny Gallagher will take the kick out immediately after this. Referee Mickey Kern says to PJ McGoney, got no permission to come on, and therefore he sends him off. Paul Carr is all right. Donald McAvoy, the man beside him, is Kerry's great threat, himself and PJ Gare. And this kick is going to be taken by Danny Gallagher. The wind rising. The kick coming out towards midfield. There was a push there by John Connors on Piers Hoare. Hoare obviously is going to play as a third midfielder, coming way out now to midfield John Connors forced to kick him out and it's this kick for Kerry inside just outside the 15 Kerry with the go setback of the goal but still coming in with two good attacks there Stephen Stack to take the kick Stack's kick is not a good one but it's taken by McAvoy who's getting a little bit too much space he takes a shot Danny should oh Danny and Danny comes out eventually but not an inspiring a confident inspiring bit of play there by goalkeeper Danny Gallagher it was a difficult enough ball came off the chest the carry one it's going to come short to James, Bron to James Brosnan they change their mind and they're again going for short people running this time it is eventually James Brosnan James Brosnan getting it back to the kicker he's moving inside getting it out to Stephen Stack Stephen Stack making the angle taking the kick and it's going to drop high into the edge of the penalty to the square there and again three carry men coming here McAvoy McAvoy out to Murphy the sub and he takes the point and of course it would be a fatal mistake to underestimate any Kerry team and they've started the second half or the last two minutes it's a good, good form a good point there by Murphy and of course it's an old adage that it's often easier to score against the wind Danny Gallagher taking the kick out. This is a better kick out and it's coming to midfield. But it's Michael Galway. Michael Galway surrounded by Donny Goldman getting it back to Pat, uh, um, to, to Stack. Stack coming into the game a lot now. Getting the ball up. Was there a push in the back? No. Two Donny Goldman around the Kerryman. Kerryman still has it. It's number 10 who is PJ Gare. Gare getting out. The kick blocked down there. Coming again to another Kerryman. Kerry moving well at the beginning of the second half. This ball coming in now towards John Joe Doherty. John Joe kept his eye on it very well. Tries to come out. Fouled that he's coming out. Regains the ball anyway. Ver ver badly fouled this time. And it's certainly a free kick for Donegal this time. And a booking. No, no, just a warning from Mickey Kearns to the Kerry player concerned. Donegal I suppose a little bit worried about their midfield at the moment for the last seven or eight minutes of the first half and again at the beginning of the second not as prominent as they were earlier on Connor's kick coming towards Barry Cunningham and Barry McGowan broken down but it's only to a Kerry man Barry McGowan hassling Pat Coughlin there Pat Coughlin still at the ball getting the kick in all the same John Cunningham should be shouting for that one John breaks it down but once again it's to a Kerry man this time it's PJ Gare PJ Gare getting the ball out towards the side and it's well taken by Tommy Ryan Tommy Ryan <coughs> the left footed kick down towards Dermot Ward Dermot Ward 
Ian Pickley and is going to be sent back and is going to be taken out by Barry Cunningham. Kerry in the lead by eight points to one four. In a really a very exciting game. Five or six minutes of the second half gone. Barry's kick going in. And it's a Kerry man again going up there. I think it's centre half Noel O'Leary. O'Leary coming out, clearing left footed. Up come it comes towards Donald McAvoy. Donald McAvoy pushed in the back by Paul Carr. And certainly Kerry are beginning the second half in far more business like fashion than they did earlier on. The kick is going to be taken here again, it would appear by Stephen Stack. Noel O'Leary actually going to take the kick the team captain low ball into Donald McAvoy Donald McAvoy and Paul Carr Paul doing well that time but Donald is a very very fine player and again Paul Carr coming to mark him the ball goes in short between Hoare and Cunningham Hoare has it John still at him Hoare getting the long ball in Connors Connors taking it well that time well done John Connors foul free out and there's a lot of good defending being done by Dun this Donegal team by John Joe Doherty, John Connors on that occasion and others and this is certainly shaping up to be some last 23 or 4 minutes of this All-Ireland Under-21 final and a fine game of football Barry Cunningham taking this one midfield fouled, free for Donegal no it's not, he gets away with it John Gallagher, John Gallagher the long ball in towards Manus Manus going and letting it drop to look, look turning round, getting it but not a good pass O'Leary getting it out to the far side Jermot Cohn, Jermot Cohn boot goes in free for Kerry, taken now by right half forward PJ Gare, no slow down Kerry are in the lead, Steve Stack and Donegal again would need to settle down a little bit taken aback by the Kerry revival after the penalty, Stephen Stack Lowish, not a, a good kick but a push in the back again, a lot of Silly foul has been given away by the Donegal team in the last three or four minutes as um, they certainly haven't taken advantage of the penalty start. Seven minutes gone. Stephen Stack, the Kerry senior. Good long ball dropping in between a few of them there. The Kerry full forward has it, gets it out to his sub Murphy. Murphy the shot and this time it's gone over the bar. And Kerry certainly coming with fresh force and enthusiasm and sub Jared Murphy pro proving to be a bit of a trump card. Two fine points taken. Nine points to one four. The kick out is going to be taken now by Donegal goalkeeper Danny Gallagher. Danny's kick coming out towards the uh, Brosnan. Brosnan breaking it down. John Cunningham going for this one. So is the Kerry centre half forward. John getting it. Tackled by Hoare. John coming out. John the long left footed clearance. Going up now towards uh, uh, John Gallagher and Luke Gavigan. But poor Luke doesn't get it. It's a Kerry ball. Donegal finding the wind. A, a mixed sort of advantage inclined to send the long ball down and not working as well as the passing movements of the first half Joe Winston over on the far side there one of the three man team looking after Donegal himself and PJ McGone and uh, Jimmy White Barry Cunningham taking this kick and it's gone wide The Kerry goalkeeper Kieran Moran to take the kick out. Kerry nine points, Donegal one four. Ten minutes of the second half gone now, which started so magnificently for Donegal, but which has turned out not so good in the last couple of minutes. But there's a long way left, and it's still a hefty wind, and the Donegal team still hoping to get it together. Kieran Moran to take the kick out. Kieran's coming out, so 35 yards out, and up goes O'Leary, Steve Stack, Steve Stack into Hoare, Hoare to Stack, Kerry playing fine football now in the second half, the long ball going up towards our right corner forward, Martin Downey, Martin Downey fails to make it a line ball for Donegal, Donegal would probably need a point to settle them down to get going again in the second half, Thomas Maguire. Maguire's kick going into the middle of the field. And again the Kerrymen coming to it 
the batter and O'Leary O'Leary the long ball in and Thomas Maguire will have to fight hard for this one again he leaves it to John Connors John Connors trying to come round this side he'll have eventually forced into a lot of pressure by the Jerry Looney but John does well slips him eventually and gets the long ball down hoping there that John Gallagher will get to it John Gallagher does get to it he's got Luke Gavin here moving inside John's still going John is still going looking for men taking the kick but that's a difficult kind of kick Dermot Ward Dermot Ward fighting for it it's a wide ball and things not going as smoothly for Donegal the low ball not being used as much another sub on the Kerry team this man is Moynihan Owen Moynihan on the Kerry team Ger Looney off the Kerry team the centre half forward Kerry in the lead up the goal three Dunny goalmen up but a Kerry man down and it's left half back Pat Cochran ball hits the referee McKearns he'll throw it in and the Kerry half backs now Cochran and Stack doing well John Gallagher going up this time does well to get the ball down but it's Pierce Hoare playing a vital role out as a third midfielder for Kerry the long ball by Brosnan oh John Cunningham drops that one and it comes to danger man McAvoy McAvoy could have done better with it Barry McGone should make it or let it out Barry wins it he still keeps it in Barry still going slips the tackle Barry good ball to Barry Cunningham Barry should take the point Barry does <laughs> 13 minutes of the game gone in the second half fine point there good work by Barry McGone to Barry Cunningham to the point 9 to 1 5 and hopefully that will settle us down again and we'll get back into business. Kieran Moore, meanwhile, takes the kick out. The kick out coming into the middle of the field. Tommy Ryan going up. But O'Leary is proving a very hot handful for him. O'Leary getting the ball. Straza slips again. And it comes to Piers Hoare. Piers Hoare getting the ball in towards the far side. Maguire ringing with sub Moynihan. Maguire should go down. Moynihan gets a touch. And now it's coming to John Connors. John Connors having to work hard. Moynihan gets it inside. Maguire's back recovering. He does well. Paul Carr coming out the side of the far side of the field to Paddy Hegarty. Paddy Hegarty to John Cunningham. John Cunningham, the long ball to Manus Boyle. Manus on the chest, taking it well, trying to sell the dummy. John Gallagher wants it. Manus selling away. Manus taking the shot. Is it good? It's going into the edge. Well taken by Moran. Moran coming out, getting it out to his full back. Full back Brosnan. Brosnan nearly slips there. Coming to Paddy Hegarty. Paddy loses it. Right corner back now. Savage. Savage could to O'Leary O'Leary they're relieving out the side of the field Dermot Cohn broken down again there this is hectic stuff at the moment and Kerry coming away trying to settle it down again it make Michael Galway Galway towards the far side of the field Cohn going back and it's the uh, corner forward Downey breaking again to a Donny Goldman it's thrill a minute here and it goes to two Kerry men now in space Dermot Cohn going back doing well McAvoy McAvoy again for Donny Goldman Barry McGone Barry Cunningham our man is Boyle man is coming Barry's inside him he doesn't give it to Barry he takes the shot it's high is it good? yeah! <laughs> the boys from Killybags come rolling home man is Boyle great points after great work by Barry McGowan. We're level. But she comes. And it's a free kick. Tommy Ryan pushing Noel O'Leary in the back. And the Donegal team re being purged on now by the thousands that have travelled here. And Barry Cunningham and Manus Boyle have stemmed the tide and have turned it this kick by Stephen Stack and the wind is taking her back but up they go and not Donny Goldman goes highest but it comes down again to the carry forward and a block again there by Barry Cunningham but still going is Kerry and his Hoare Hoare has a chance can he get turned coming across the side to Martin Donny Donny Goldman on him Donny Goldman still on him it's a free out 
for Razdaman. This is spell spiking stuff here now as we enter the last quarter of the game. John Connors to take the kick and a tribute to both sides. It's a tremendous sporting, clean footballing game. John Connors a kick. We're level. 14 to go. Donegal with the win. Coming towards Barry McGowan. Barry taking it. Giving that no nonsense ball to Ward. Dermot Ward from Glenfin. Wide. It was a chance there, certainly for Dermot Ward, a good ball, and he certainly slipped his man well, but the kick didn't go that well. It's a difficult win now, to be fair. Kieran Moran to take the kick. A goal will certainly decide it now, but it'll probably be points. And up they go, and it's the big man coming out now. And it's Galway, the long ball, tackled after the kick. Free, silly free, left down there by Moynan. It's Moynan Murphy, Murphy leaving the ball to Pat Coughlin. This game is by no means over. Pat Coughlin leaving it to Pierce Hoare. Pierce Hoare, the full forward, the danger man before the game, but been restricted to two points. Kerry nine points. Donegal one six. Pierce Hoare's kick. Good kick it is too. Danny Gallagher is the man in the square. It's wide anyway. Seventeen minutes of the game gone, thirteen to go, and everybody here on tenter hooks. Danny's kick out, not a good one this time. John Cunningham, eventually, did he foul? No, he didn't. Dermot Cohn cleans up, and the uh, ball is coming through to Barry McGowan. Barry McGowan leaving it. You can't leave things here. Out come Kerry again, playing with great determination. There goes Dermot Cohn. Dermot Cohn to John. Go, John. Leave it to Barry McGowan. John's inside him. Barry to the hand, and again. He's handing the ball in to look, look going up for it, breaking it down to a carry man, Brosnan, Brosnan, Ward, Brosnan getting it out, cool man to Nix, Morgan Nix, out and it's over the line, line ball, Barry McGowan to take it, leaving it to big Manus Boyle and Manus from Kelly Beggs to take this line ball on the 45 metre line. Oh, this is some game. That's throbbing excitement here. The Donegal crowd with their breath in their mouth. Manus' is kick. She's going to curl towards Tommy Ryan. Tommy having an unhappy day. Out it comes to Pierce Hoare. Pierce Hoare coming through them there and finding Jermot Cohn. Jermot Cohn sending us back on the attack and it's breaking there to Tommy Ryan. Tommy can't get moving. He does get this time. Is he fouled? No, he's not. He is. It'll be Barry Cunningham, it'll be his left foot. The angle is difficult. And again, it's another chapter in his history of left-footed kicks from angles. One remembers a Super League final in Maharagal and a McLarnan final in Balabafay. These kind of angles, these kind of pressures, and it's Barry again. But not this time, not this time. And so it's gone wide, a chance gone a-begging there, another Kerry man, another sub on the Kerry team. Tom Welsh is in the game. At Coughlin, the left half-back comes off, the Rathmore man, and the kick-out is to be taken by Kieran Moran. Donegal now on the top. Up goes Manus Boyle, breaking it down, but it's Michael Galway, certainly having a great second half. Paul Carr doing well there, and fighting, and winning, and giving the ball towards Luke Gavigan. Luke Gavigan winning the battle for possession. He's got Raz inside. John has it. Can John Cunningham get turned round? Three men on him. Good ball out. The kick taken there by Manus, but not good. It's gone wide. We're missing chances. 20 minutes gone, 10 minutes to go. Kerry, nine points. Donegal, one six. Anach, Lee Pella, good John Shaw. Bark, year, Lacha, Tuam. Three hands, Kurhamuig, Dunning, Allen, Shinle, Kupla, Bumuche, Chanson, Yaku, and Klihisha, Wain, Sulagin, Nach, Meshad, Burhan, Yay, Shaw, Fadu, Difa. 
Up goes Paddy Hegarty, breaking the ball down, but only to the everywhere Pierce Hoare. John Cunningham just doesn't make it. This time he might, and a boot goes in there, but they're fighting for everything. The third Kerry Sub Welsh carrying the ball, still carrying the ball. Barry McGowan will take it off him, and he does concede the line ball. Great fighting. A Kerry man is down injured. There's so much going. Mick Cairns has now seen the Kerry man and he lets on the Kerry mentors to pay attention and everybody is relieved that there's a break in the tension. PJ McGowan is going to make a substitution. One would not be surprised if John Sweeney perhaps would be coming into this game. The Kerry man is all right. Noel O'Leary, the captain, is going to take the free. The free is going in towards... Oh, no, Donny Goldman going! Oh, dear me, there's danger in there. It's a right half forward, getting it out to the sub and the scorer, Murphy. Can Murphy give them the lead? He does! It was slack defending. Eight minutes left in the game. Danny Gallagher. We're a point down. It's going to the far side of the field. It's broken to John. John, the low ball inside for Luke. Come on, Luke. Luke trying to sell the dummy. He does this time. Go on, take the shot. But it's not strong enough. And it's going harmlessly wide. And Kerry now leading by 10 to 1 6. A point ahead. 23 gone. The Donegal forward line finding it more difficult to take their chances now. Connor White is in the game. Connor White has come on. And I would be saying it will probably be. No, it doesn't point out yet who it is. It's Paddy Hegarty seems to be coming off. So Connor White of Kelly Beggs making it six Kelly Beggs men to Paddy Hegarty with a great first half. And then when Stephen Stack came on, found it a bit more hard. But well done, Paddy. And the Donegal crowd giving him an appreciative hand. Up goes the Kerry man and it's Brosnan coming out with it. Kerry midfield playing well in the second half. Getting it to the sub Welsh. Welsh the long ball but it'll go out here. A line ball for Donegal. And Donegal getting a bit worried now as we come into the last seven minutes of this game. John Cunningham to take it. 10 to 1, 6. John Cunningham Killy Beggs calling to Barry McGowan gives it short to Barry McGowan and he wants it back will he get it back Barry going around your man Barry still he's fouled but it's very far out will the ref bring it in no it's going to be a difficult free and Barry McGowan down injured it would seem that he was thrown to the ground after the whistle went Manus Boyle will be taking things in hand, trying to steal a yard or two, and the referee is looking at Barry McGowan. Barry's all right, he was fouled, he's limping a bit, but he'll be back for the end of this. The kick is going to be taken by Manus Boyle of Killy Beggs. It is 55 metres out, probably not a good kick, and who gets it? It's Kerry again. And a Kerry man is fouled as he comes out. Barry McGowan still limping, Brosnan the full back, 10 to 1 6. 24 gone. Brosnan's kick is going into the middle of the field. Barry Cunningham going up. Barry is outfielder there by Brosnan. Brosnan, the referee Mickey Cairn says he's not. And he's going to throw it in between two men. Relief for Donegal. Barry Cunningham and Brosnan going up for it. Barry breaks it down to John Gallagher. To Dermot Ward. Come on, Dermot. Dermot doing well but now losing it to Morgan Nix Morgan Nix being tackled and fouled by Manus Cunningham and Donegal things not running that well for them at the moment five minutes of the game to go Piers Hoare leaving the ball there to Noel O'Leary Noel O'Leary one of the heroes of this second, carry ha second half carry performance what again in goes the far side of the field, Paul Carr, but Paul, PJ Gare, Gare going round Carr, the low ball inside and a lot of room there, we wouldn't want to lose a point here, Galway, Galway still, 
Galway finding room on the far side. Stack. Stack takes the shot. Hopefully wide, yes. And the senior men, Michael Galway and Stephen Stack, giving Donegal more worries there. We're a point down, 10 to 1 6. Four minutes of the game left. Danny Gallagher to take the kick. We need the points. Danny's out to the middle of the field. Pierce Hoare all alone. Inside the space, John Joe Doherty. John Joe, the carryman Gare. Gare still on it. Out to the sub, Moynihan. Moynihan looks good, wide. Two carry chances. Donny Gall, having given so much in the first half, just do seem to have run out of a little bit of steam. Barry Cunningham wants it. And we want an equaliser. Danny's kick. Oh, bad. And it comes to Paul Carr. Well done, Paul. Paul, the long ball. Barry Mogon. He's all right again. He's coming round. He's slipping. He's recovering. He gives time to settle. The long ball in now towards Tommy Ryan. Is Tommy pushed? He is. There was dissent and it goes in. He'll probably take it in further. Joey McDermott is getting warmed up. Joey McDermott is going into the game. Oh, please, Manus. Three minutes of, game, of the game left. Three minutes of football. Mickey Kearns has punished the carry man for descent. Tommy Ryan is coming off, having gained the free. Joey McDermott of Glenfin is going on. Tommy Ryan gets the applause. Manus Boyle has a heavy shoulder uh, load on his shoulders. Take it, Manus. They're level again. Two minutes of football. Perhaps three. But not too much. Kieran Mourns kick out. Paul Carr going up. Broken down there by the Donegal sub. The Carr. And it's a line ball for Donegal. Oh dear me. Manus Boyle. And certainly it's a long, long kick. As you can see, it's 47 metres out. It's a cycling kick. Manus Boyle having scored two second half and two first half points. And well he would certainly have never kicked a more important point if he could make this one or into the edge of the parallelogram she's not going either and it's Joey and Joey loses it Barry McGone get it back to Manus Boyle Manus has a chance his kick is blocked down Joey McDermott who was injured in his back but it's a carry man it's a coming out and the referee allows play on and it's the Kerry defence clearing it out it should be the Razda man he blocks it down, he goes down he picks it up, he's fouled he takes it short to Barry Barry didn't know he had taken it take the shot Barry, he does Dermot Ward is behind his man the ball beats both, coming out to Michael Galway forgets it John Gallagher, weak, out they come again and it's pressure for Donegal steps, comes out the far side of the field P.J. Gare, Paul Carr, Moynihan, free for Kerry. Minute to go of ordinary time. Two short injuries. Stephen Stack, I suppose a draw would be fair enough. 10 Kerry, 1-7 Donegal. It has been a wonderful final. We felt we'd win it in the first, but we've done well to come back. Stephen Stack, come on Donegal. And it goes, it's over, it's a draw. And he certainly didn't play any more than 30. And a fine game and a fine draw. Donegal. One goal and seven points. Kerry, ten points. The last point of the game, that free from Manus Boyle that made them level. Donegal, after a great first half, come over now to praise their fans and their fans praise them they haven't won but they've done us proud and a great day for football because it was a great game
Thank you.